Well, there you are, look. The uh, ultralight burn box, burning wood fuel, on my first overnight camp at my new location in England. Got a scruffy fire there, don't need it for the heat, it's bloody hot today, but I do need it for the mosquitoes, so I just put a smoky fire up there. Um, as you can see, the burn box burns pretty well. Don't need any more air holes. Might need gloves to get those, uh, <laughs> get those handles though. That's gonna be warm, that'll settle down soon. Anyway, here I am in my new location or trying out a new location. I've got the tent over there, just in case, because we had a massive thunderstorm last night and it tipped buckets for hours. Um, I've come what I call kit heavy, brought the dog as well, as you can see. But where I'm gonna be spending the night is my hammock with the, cut, the tarp over the top, okay? You can just see I hung up there. And like I said, this is my new Woodland location, right under the bloody flight path. Shame really, but what can you do? Anyway, let me give you a tour around. I've come what I call kit heavy. I have brought loads of kit because I have to have a good sort out and a clear out and to uh, work out, you know, where bits and pieces are. Um, so I've lugged up loads and loads of gear that I don't actually need, but I do want to sort out, you see. Oh look, the burn box going really well down there. Who says a windshield can't be used for other things? As I said before, lots of deadfall for me to burn, which is one of the stipulations the landowner did ask me, feel free to burn up any of this old dead wood. Well, <laughs> where can you knock a, uh, an offer like that? Of course, I'm wearing the MTP today, uh, of course. British Army, these colours don't run, all that sort of thing. It's still not my favourite camouflage for this kind of environment, but... I like it anyway, it's Gucci, so I'm going to wear it. This is my favourite colour, the old DPM. If I'm in the woods, that's normally the colour I'm wearing. But like I said, I want to test out a load of kit, and some of it hasn't seen the light of day for months and months, so I thought I'd get it all out and have a go. And like I said, I'm kit heavy, so I've got rucksacks and machetes and axes, and I even brought the old chair along, you know. Oh, sorry, did you go dizzy then? <laughs> sorry about that. Got the chair, and on the back of the chair is my day pack. Now... I was going to do a video on the day pack because a lot of people, well, they've got day packs and rocket pouches and they've got them all put together. You see, but I put mine together. Can you see? So the pouches are actually together before they go on the harness. So that gives them a much nicer shape, more like a little rucksack. And hidden away in the pocket between is a knife because you know how sniffy people get about knives these days. So mine just goes down in between the two pouches. So you can also put rucksacks, uh, rucksacks, machetes or whatever down there. There they are zipped together, okay. On the bottom, that's a rolled up jacket. You can roll up a kit mat or whatever you want to put on a poncho. Um, oh, I don't know. These straps here normally hold my, uh, what a bloody hell. My, my memory's going, you know. It's, a, it's over there, it's hanging up. What's that thing called? Pon uh, hammock. For Christ's sake, hammock. Anyway, my hammock normally sits in there so that you've got three tubes and then you've got the hole in the middle. So this is how I do mine. Like I said, it's a little bit different to the correct way of doing it, the standard issue way of doing it, but it's the way I do it, you see. I think it makes a nicer looking pack. But still, what can you do? Still attached up there with the two buckles. Two buckles down the bottom. And that's it, two rocket pouches as a backpack, a day pack, whatever you call it. And I like it better that way because I'm funny and I like things to be how I like them. But like I said, the pocket in the middle is really handy because you can store all kinds of stuff down there. People don't even know it's there, you see? So that's wicked. Anyway, like I said, it was just a bit of an overview. This is a very dense piece that I'm in. There is a path somewhere over there, but like I said, it's dense enough for me to be hidden away. And as you can see, all around me, nice dense coverage. And like I said, we're out and about. I've put this funny looking triangular guy line set up up because there wasn't a tree in line where I wanted the tarp to be. So I just put one between two. So I got the triangulation to pull it in the direction I wanted it to be pulled in. Because again, I'm like that. And then it makes a handy washing line. Oh dear, move those. That's it, can't have that upside down. Ah, uh, the Gurkhas. Didn't they look after as well? Haven't we given them a shitty, shitty end of the stick? 
Well, we haven't, the government has. Anyway, as you can see, the flames have died down. Much more sensible heat coming out of that. No, bloody hell, that's hot. And she's actually boiling. Look at that, you can see the steam coming out of my new lid. That's the lid that I uh, beat about. I've shaped it more now so it doesn't look so beaten. It looks a little bit more like it's supposed to be that way. But I don't know if you can hear it. She's boiling. So there we are. It's time for me to have a brew. But I'll just show you the... There we go. The thing hasn't melted. So quite clearly, it can take some heat. It deforms a little bit as it gets hot, but it flattens out. It's only aluminium, you've just got to push it back to uh, where it was. But for an ultralight burn box, I think it's working rather well, don't you? Anyway, there we go. In action. Smoky fire. Emergency tent. Plus I'm trying it out. It's one of them pop-up tents. It's uh, very nice, actually. It took about three seconds to put up. It took about two minutes to whittle some pegs to put it in the ground and then tied it off some trees. Like I said, if it does bucket down tonight, I shall be heading in there, if this lot gives up. But if not, I shall be in there, in my little hammock. So there we are. All right then, guys, from the Woof Woof, say bye-bye. Yeah. Where's that rabbit? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> All right then, people. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.